So can you guess how much all this was? All this plus toilet paper and paper towels. Hi, welcome to our family vine. Today we are on our way to Costco. Honestly, Costco is getting so expensive because we're a big family. I do need those big bulk items. So we're heading there and I'm going to try my hardest to just stay on task with what, what my list is. And I got Coda here. He's yes. going to help me. Yes. <laughs> I used to only spend like two, three hundred dollars every time I'd go to Costco. But lately, I mean, for the last few months or last year or so, it's like five hundred dollars can't do that uh, so I'm gonna try my best to not go overboard stick around and find out if I stay within at least under 500 no I want to do less than 500 so stick around and see how much we spend just walked in here and I'm already starting to look everywhere else but I gotta keep my eyes forward <laughs> So that was a great, great stop at Costco. I'm thankful that I had Coda with me to kind of keep me straight in line, stick around to find out how much we actually spent. I was actually really surprised. So of course we got toilet paper. We always have to stock up on toilet paper and paper towels. Actually, we don't need to stock up on paper towels often, so it's not too bad. My kids love this bread. This is bigger bread, so these these are perfect for sandwiches for the boys especially. So my boys really like this. Had to get coffee because we can never have enough coffee, and the mini cucumbers are always a plus in this home. Wanted to try these. So Jonathan loves apples. Apples are his thing. Cosmic Crisp, classically bred apples. I don't know why it's so special, but. He really likes his apples to be really crisp. That's always his big thing. He's like, before you buy them all, make sure that, like they're solid and because that means they'll be crispy. So I hope these are crispy. I don't know. Can never have enough tortillas. He's just gonna be making beans in the next few days. So we always need a whole bunch of tortillas and of course breakfast burritos. Ham, because my kids love ham, ham sandwiches, ham and eggs. For fruits, we have um Grapes, my kids love when cotton candy grapes are in season. So these are cotton candy grapes. Um, the cuties. Can never have enough lettuce. Peppers, my kids love bell peppers. I always have to get a rotisserie chicken whether we're gonna eat it today or tomorrow because it's always, a, it's always good to have on hand. And then I found out, my cousin told me that you can actually once you shred it, you can freeze it. So I haven't tried that, but it's good to know. These are Jonathan's favorite. So when he comes home from school or at night after dinner or whatever, late night snack, he'll throw these in the air fryer. Whereas my other kids like the Dino Buddies. So that's that. We always have tortilla chips on hand. We love nachos. And it's an easy, easy snack for the kids. Just throw it on a plate, throw cheese, you're good to go. Uh, waffles, we can never have enough waffles in this house. So waffles, chips for school. And I just, you know, actually Coda was the one who pointed it out that these chips actually, not only were they on sale, um, but it says bigger bags. So I could double it. So there's 30 bags, I could probably make it 60. Maybe not for Jonathan, he'd probably take the bigger bags, but for Kai, I could probably take one bag and split it into two. Yes. I always get the liquid IVs um, if they're on sale. So the pineapple one, we actually haven't tried yet, but those were the ones on sale. So uh, when they do track and stuff, it's just easier to grab one of those with a bottle of water and they're able to hydrate themselves really easy. Also, we do get plates and bowls, especially for the weekends. We don't feel like washing dishes sometimes. You know, I'm just gonna be honest with a big family, just eat it, toss it, um, however, when they do use dishes in the house, the rule is they have to wash the, their dish. 
So, you know, sometimes on the weekends, none of us want to wash any dishes. So, um, paper plates, paper bowls, it's just easier. So, can you guess how much all this was? All this plus toilet paper and paper towels. Okay. The grand total, 22 items. Like I said before, I usually spend lately like 500, but I'm trying to go below that. And I didn't buy as much as I needed. Uh, I didn't buy, I didn't go overboard this time. I didn't buy anything too extra that we needed. That caught my eye, which there were a few things that did catch my eye that I wanted, but I decided to walk away from them. And so for those 22 items, I spent $256.05. That's right, 256. Oh my gosh, I wanted to spend under five. Would love if I hit under three, as close to two. 250, I'm gonna take that, guys. That's a win for me. So, yay, I, it's what happens when I don't stray too far and buy extras that I don't really need. Pretty proud of myself. So yeah, so did you guys come close? Did you think that that, was worth all that much. I mean, I did buy a good amount. So I am really happy that it was only that amount. Thanks for watching.